The Color Slice tool is a brand new tool introduced into DaVinci Resolve 19. This grading palette is designed to help you achieve richer colors, enabling you to get more film-like colors in your footage. If we come into our color page, right, below, right next to our curves, we have this Color Slice. You can see it's broken up into seven different areas down here. And then across the top, we have a couple of globals. Let's take a look at this red one here. So we have this little color wheel, and this is just kind of to show you where the colors are that we're going to be affecting. You can see that you have this primary bar here, and then we have these like slightly less brighter over here. And then we have like a gradient here. So that's kind of how this tool works. Is it affects the center, the center selection. Uh, the most, and then the uh, the controls as we manipulate them, they start to fall off in strength as you go left and right of the main line here. To actually see where this red is affecting the frame, let's uh, bring this back where there's a bit more red here. If we click this little button here, it'll actually show us where this control will affect. Okay, and then as we move this, if you can see we're going more into the magenta and then over here more into the red. If we take a look at skin tones and then the magenta, as we move this, it's also manipulating where the fall off is for those controls as well. So you can see that there, okay? And so let's, uh, let's see where we're actually at here. Okay, so that's a pretty good area. Coming down, we have hue, so this is to change the color. It's not to change the color of our selection, it's to change the color, oh geez, how do you explain that? It's not to change the color of the selection of the footage, it's to change the footage's color. Oh geez, let me just show you. Okay, so we have our red selection there, and then as we move this, we're just going to manipulate those particular areas, right? I feel like just showing instead of trying to talk is probably a little easier for some of these controls. Okay, so then this next one, we have density. And I like to think of density like making uh, the color richer. And this is something that took me a while to figure out when I started color grading is looking at old footage. All of the reds and stuff were always so rich. And uh, when you turned up saturation, they weren't so rich. <laughs> uh, they got very bright. And so this is to add a richness to those colors, as you can see there. Next to that, we have saturation. So saturation works in a subtractive manner. Instead of just making the reds really bright and vivid, what it does is it subtracts the opposite colors. And so it works in a subtractive way. So when we increase saturation in one of these, we're not increasing brightness, if that makes sense. So as I add this on, adding um, a stronger red, right? So we can see it's just adding in a stronger red there. Okay, so we'll reset that and let's take a look at this whole shot here and what can we do? So first off, I think that these are crazy bright, they're almost neon green. So I would think that I really obviously want the gold to pop, this red to be pulled back a little bit, and these obviously need to be pulled down. So let's play with the density here, right? And that's that richness in colors. So as we added that on, we saw that the color got richer, but the overall frame stayed the same brightness. And so I feel like that did quite a number so far. I think that that's looking pretty good. The only other thing that I can see, actually, let's, uh, let's work on this gold here. So I'm guessing yellow, yep. Uh, let's add in some saturation there, get those to be nice and bright and yellow. I feel like that's how a palette should look, okay. And then I think that this red is a little much. So is that in red? No, and if I adjust this more red, is that red? No, not really. Okay, so let me reset that, is it in? So this is gonna be in skin tones. So this is gonna take the skin tone line, but then also have a bit of red and yellow in there. So if I, let me pull back that saturation a little bit. And I feel like that was probably just enough. Take the edge off there. And I feel like we're actually in a very good spot. I feel like I really like where this was. Let's go full screen. So this is where it was compared to where it is now. And I think I moved maybe three sliders there. And that was it. And now we're 
in a spot where we're getting, you know, more film-like colors out of this, I really like this tool. It's definitely going to save a bit of time because any other time you would have to, you know, increase the saturation and bring back the luminance. And so it'd be, a, a, you know, a little bit more. I really think that this is going to fit well in my workflow. I just have to actually get it in my workflow and get used to jumping to it to see if I can do anything with it. But yeah, so that is the color slice tool. Play around with it. It's a pretty cool tool. I've enjoyed it so far. Um, if you have any questions about this stuff or any of the new updates for that matter in DaVinci Resolve 19, go over to Post Pro Lists and ask me over there. We're a community of post-production professionals, beginners, everything. And we're talking about all of these new updates over there. If you want to see how to use the other new things in DaVinci Resolve 19, take a look in the description of this video. I have a playlist going over how to use all of the other new additions to DaVinci Resolve 19. But with that being said, my name's Justin Robinson. Thank you so much for watching. Till next one, guys. See ya.